Hi, Hayden here for Play Music Magazine, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Jaden Rose original series, Wenge Custom. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden Rose is a British guitar builder who's been getting quite a lot of press recently and for very good reason. What we have here is one of the top of the range guitars from him. It's based on his original series which are the Carve Top series and it is the Wenge or Wenge if you prefer top custom. Let's take a look at the specifications for the guitar. Okay let's start around the back. We have a mahogany back on this particular model and it's <laughs> very nice indeed. Around the front we have a carved wench top that's really highly figured. And another thing worth pointing out here, it does have an oiled finish so it feels incredibly natural and organic to touch. The neck is a wench and purple heart laminate, flamed wench uh, to be more precise with a purple heart offsetting that really nicely. You can also see the all access neck joint that the Jaden Rose guitars have. Around the front of the neck we have an ebony fretboard which has a 17 inch shred friendly radius and that contains 24 really nicely finished stainless steel frets. The neck itself has, as you would expect, a very shred friendly profile. It's not really anorexic, but it is kind of thin. Um, it does have a slight flat back feel, perhaps flattening out a little more as you move up towards the dusty end, allowing you to get some really cool and very comfortable thumb behind playing going on. But there's still enough meat on there to ensure you can sort of dig in a little bit, which is very, very nice. For hardware, it's actually remarkably simple. We have Goto tuners and a Goto fixed bridge here. A volume and a tone control, no push pull pots or anything like that. And a three way toggle switch. Now the toggle switch does actually have a coil tap function in the middle position where it selects one coil from each humbucker allowing you to get a kind of a scooped hollow, slightly funkier tone. As for the pickups, it's a pair of Dimatios we have in here. It's a crunch lab in the bridge and a liquefier in the neck, which I believe is the pickup configuration favored by John Petrucci at the moment, so that's pretty cool. Okay, that was the specifications for the guitar. Let's take a listen to the sounds. We'll start with the clean sounds. First of all, bridge humbucker on its own. Now the neck humbucker. And now that in between setting which chooses one coil from each humbucker. Now as you can hear that middle position really does have a hollow snappy funkiness to it that adds a lot of versatility to the guitar allowing you to indulge in some kind of double stop silliness. But the good thing about these humbuckers is there's actually quite a lot of definition there so you've got power but it never really gets mushy in fact the neck pickup could be a bit bright for some that like a slightly more soupy tone but I really like the definition you can get and it still sounds nice and full and meaty. Okay, those were some of the clean sounds you can get from the Jaden Rose. Now let's have a listen to some of the, uh, well, not so clean sounds. Starting with the bridge humbucker. <laughs> There's a 
lot to really dig about the Jaden Rose original series wench custom. Tonally, it's tight as a drum. There's still enough give there to make it comfortable, but everything is very, very defined. A lot of that does have to do with the pickup choice of this guitar that complements it perfectly. Other things worth mentioning are the fact that this oiled uh, finish and the wood choice, along with these stainless steel frets, gives it this almost surgical yet organic feel, like you're getting a bit of the best from both worlds. Whether you're playing something kind of funky and groovy um, on a clean in-between sound, or you're doing your wide stretch on this game. The Jaden Rose just seems to eat it all up. Also, the control layout is definitely worth mentioning. Indeed, the switch here might be in a bad place for those of us who like to strum from the elbow, but if you are kind of a tight, shreddy picker, which this guitar is designed for, you will love the position of that switch and where the volume pot is. Nothing gets in the way, but they are exactly in the right place for getting a hold of them. All in all, this is a fantastic guitar. They're not cheap, but they're not gonna be. And we highly recommend you give one a try if you're looking for a, a higher-end, shred-ready monster. That's about it for this video. Please remember to check out our website at www.playmusicpickup.co.uk where you can see a free digital issue of the magazine and all the archives of reviews and interviews and everything else that's gone on. And you can even win stuff, which is cool, because winning stuff is always cool. Anyway, I've been Hayden, and I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm off to play this a little more. Have fun. <laughs>